Hey there, welcome to another marriage replenishment message from The Color of Marriage. What does a great marriage look like to you? Is it a marriage free of conflicts and challenges? Many people think so, but let's debunk that myth today. Picture perfect marriages don't exist. Every couple experiences struggles and disagreements. The difference lies in how these conflicts are handled. In fact, a truly great marriage is not one devoid of conflict, but one where partners navigate their differences effectively. A great marriage is not a marriage that is free of conflicts and challenges, but a marriage where the couple is able to resolve those conflicts and challenges. The first step in resolving conflicts is inviting God into your marriage. Imagine a couple, let's call them Sarah and John. They had their fair share of disagreements and conflicts, but things started to change when they decided to invite God into their marriage. They began to pray together, seeking God's guidance in their decisions and actions. Suddenly their conflicts didn't seem so insurmountable anymore. They found strength and wisdom in their faith, and this led to a transformation in how they addressed their problems. It's not that their disagreements disappeared overnight, but they began to approach them with a newfound sense of patience, understanding, and love. And why wouldn't they? After all, they were now seeking help from the highest source of wisdom and love, God. Remember, inviting God into your marriage is the first step to effectively resolving conflicts and challenges. The second and third steps involve forgiveness and apology. Picture this, you and your spouse have had a disagreement. It's easy to hold on to the hurt, to harbor resentment. But imagine instead, you decide to forgive. You let go of the anger, the bitterness. You choose love over conflict. This act of forgiveness can be incredibly powerful. It can heal wounds, restore peace, and usher in a new beginning. And all of this is happening because you took the first step of inviting God into your marriage. Now consider the power of an apology. I'm sorry. Two simple words, yet they carry so much weight. When spoken sincerely, these words can mend broken bridges and pave the way for reconciliation. They can erase the lines that divide and foster unity. But remember, forgiveness and apology are two-way streets. Both spouses must be willing to forgive and apologize to each other. So, forgive one another, apologize, and accept each other's forgiveness. This way, your marriage will not stay in a state of distress more than it has to. Are you doing these three things in your marriage? Remember, it's not about being perfect but about growing together. Marital challenges aren't a sign of failure, but opportunities for growth. When you find it tough, don't hesitate to seek help. It's not a sign of weakness but of strength. Implement these principles. Invite God in, forgive each other and apologize. As you navigate through life's ups and downs together, remember, when husbands and wives recognize that the conflicts and challenges of their marriage produce growth, great things happen. Keep this in mind and watch the transformation unfold. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. Also, if you agree with this message and feel others should hear it, please share and like it.